Okay, so this is a problem that we'll be doing that um, uses the ideal gas law, but also integrates the chemical equation um, in association with it. Okay, so um, the problem itself says acetylene burns via the following balanced chemical equation, and that's given to you on the board. If you have 10.0 liter tank of acetylene, at 25.0 degrees Celsius. And 100 dot ATM of pressure, how much carbon dioxide will you form if you burn all the acetylene in the tank? Okay, so in order to do this problem, well, this is nice enough that Liters is already in the units that we want, or the volume is, and the pressure is already in units of ATM, so those are units that we would like to, okay? So what we're going to do is add 273 to this, okay? So 298.0 Kelvin, we'll say. Okay, so the other thing we have to remember, well, is the ideal gas equation in order to do this. Why? Because we need to know the number of moles of acetylene that we're starting with. Okay, acetylene is this C2H2. So, what is the ideal gas law? PV equals nRT. What are we solving for? N, number of moles. So, solve for N, that's going to be PV over RT. Like that. Everybody okay with that? Okay, so now we just take these numbers. Okay, remember R, that's given to us 0 0.0821 liter ATM per one mole. So, pressure, 100 ATM, volume, 10.0 liters, divided by R, 0 0.0821 liter ATM, one mole, Kelvin times temperature, 298.0 Kelvin. Is everybody okay with writing something like that? So now, let's cancel out our units, okay? So ATM cancels with ATM. Liters cancels with liters. Kelvin's on the bottom down here. So it cancels with Kelvin there. So 1 divided by divided by puts it up to the top, right? So moles is our new unit. Is everybody okay with that kind of assessment? So our units here is going to be moles, and it looks like it's going to be the three sig figs. Right? So now all we do is just plug these numbers into our calculator, and that will give us the number of moles of acetylene that we got. So 100 times 10 divided by 0, 0.0821 and then divide that by 298 and the number of moles that I received to 3 sig figs is 40.9 moles of acetylene. Is everybody okay with doing that calculation? So that's just like a normal PV equals NRT calculation, like the ones we were doing downstairs, okay? So let's just write down that number of moles, because I'm going to have to erase it in order to do the rest of the problem. Okay. So is everybody okay if I erase this bottom part? Anybody still writing? Okay, wonderful. You guys are fast drivers. But the problem didn't ask for what is the number of moles of acetylene, right? It asked us how much 
carbon dioxide will you form if you burn all the acetylene in the tank? So how much, to me, implies number of moles, okay? If it would have said the mass, then we would have had to convert that number of moles to something like grams or something like that, okay? So in other words, number of moles of acetylene we have is down here at 40.9, but we're looking for the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Does everybody understand what I've done here? So now, not only have we used the PV equals NRT, now we're going to integrate that with the chemical equation. Okay, so the number of moles of carbon dioxide is going to equal the number of moles of acetylene. And then you've got to convert that from using the values on the chemical equation. So carbon dioxide is what we want, so we're going to put that up here. So four moles of CO2 will be formed for every two moles of C2H2 we use. So moles C2H2 cancel out. So what are we going to do? Multiply this by two, right? So times four divided by two. Okay. So that's going to give us, what is that, 81 point. And that's going to be your final answer. Is everybody okay with doing something like that? So again, you have to recall what we learned, I think, in chapter 3 or something, that the chemical equation shows us the mole-to-mole -mole ratio. Okay? And then, of course, also what we've learned in this chapter about the PV equals NRT stuff. Okay? So for this, you're going to have to convert things to moles to do it. Any questions on this one? Again, I have a few more of these exact type of problems already recorded. Feel free to watch those as well. Okay?